Hello, let's play a Distorted Travesty. It's an indie game by someone called Dark Yoshi. Hmm, there's quite a bit of memory available there. Sure wish I had that much memory. I don't wish to skip this at all. We will observe this intro together. But I don't want twenty seven and a half bugs. This game better be worth it. I already have enough problems with this computer as is. Okay. This is the title screen. We've got three slots and a dangerous sounding quit button. And file three corrupts itself. But we have to use it because the other two are in use. We'll do veteran difficulty as long as we can. Hmm. This place looks exciting enough. Huh. Sounds like some dangerous technology they use to beam in the places. Hmm. His priorities are good. First things first, this is the status screen, inventory techniques, skills, options. We're just adjusting this a little bit. It's the first time I tried recording this, it didn't go too well. I also like that option. And this one. A good deal. But yeah, this is our staffs. We have 2,000 life and 1,000 spirit. But those will come into play later. We can... Since this is like an action RPG, we get experience. Except we get experience from doing pretty much anything. And that is pretty good. In fact, if you destroy all the stuff on the in this room, you can get a level up before you fight your first enemy. According to the crater, you can actually beat this at level one, but I haven't but you always get experience from bosses, so I'm not sure how that's possible. Anyways, this is our first bit of combat. It explain how combat works in the game. These enemies are weak to Earth Elemental. We have access to four different elements in the game. Fire, water, wind, and earth. Which the, all the enemies in this level are weak to that. So that's what we'll be using. Also, if you hit the enemy in the right way, they'll be crippled and take even more damage. And that's not very relevant in the first area. And each element has a range of spells available to it. Earth has Rock Smash at the beginning, which... Eh, that's pretty good. And these I will explain when we get to the point where the game actually explains. I'm going to try and beat this area with no damage, but if I don't do it, I don't do it. I'm not actually that good at this game, unfortunately. I've already played through it once completely, and I still haven't found all the items in the game, and I don't think this would be a 100% item run either. A uh, link to the game itself I'll put in the description so other people can try it. It's definitely worth a look. Skill capsules. You might have briefly noticed the skill menu when I was adjusting the options. I couldn't 
The only time I could have adjusted the options is when I got into the game itself, or I would have done it before I started recording, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh. And now we must stop, because it's time to dance! Rave mode. Well, let's give it a go. <laughs> you take no damage in rave mode, and... Your damage output, uh, it looks like it's roughly double over normal. Which is pretty useful. I'll be using it whenever I can, but there are some limitations to when you can enter rave mode, unfortunately. Switches with a crystal above them, you must use the correct element. Obviously, green is wind. Eradication. I know what causes to kill messages, but I haven't quite figured out what causes messages like eradication yet. And that's normal. Red chests always have money in them. Or internets. In this game. 30 isn't very much. We can carry a thousand at the moment. Also, you can click on enemies to acquire more information about them if needed. The first bit is information from the character we control, Jerry. And the second section is from Jeremy, the guy with the green text, who is observing us. Sometimes they'll even tell us the triple point, which is always handy. However, some enemies it will not reveal this, especially later on bosses. That almost ruined my a somewhat casual attempt at no damage in the tutorial. Yeah, I'm wondering why a random engineer has a gun. But, oh well. He's also not very bright, it seems. Oh wow, he's gonna try and stop us with a random out of place robot. Okay, so we're fighting that one boss from Mega Man Zero. Okay. And we're on a map that takes tiles from what looks like Metroid Fusion would be my guess. I like this, but I don't like this news. I want to use rave mode on this guy. But I guess if it will cause the world to end, I can make do without it. Alright, this is our first boss fight. This guy's weak to fireballs. This is probably the part where I get hit. Yep, oh well, I got... As I said, I wasn't really trying that hard for no damage. One hit so far isn't too bad. Time to finish this Joker once and for all. One hit, and that's... Actually, way better than usual. I should have looked up the scan data, but oh well. If I felt like it, I could purchase items from that robot there, but there's no need. There 
turn to gem. Yay, Skittles! I love Skittles. Both in game and real life. Skittles can heal up to 30% of your health at a time. But due to the fact I've only taken one hit and the damage has already been undone so far, I have no need for the healing items as is. That seems to be about the maximum level you can acquire without backtracking, and in this stage it's about six or so. My guess is you could probably do it as low as level two. But since I'm actually not all that good at this game, I think I'll take every advantage I can get my hands on. The longer your chain, the more er, ch the higher chance you'll have again in currency in the game. Internet. Where we are getting that item? It's a little tricky to get, but possible. Yeah, stand right on the edge and dash over. As far as I got it on the first dash attempt. And this appears to be the CEO. Not much we can do about him, however. Other than the fact that we're here because he insulted the guy's favorite game. Sounds like this has occurred before. Perhaps not to a specific company, but... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Hmm, a purple and black, vaguely evil-looking creature. Hmm. Generic enough name, but fitting. Darkness readings? Hmm. I'd say it'd be accurate given that he's called the Darkness. And has a spazzing hand. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's not being nice to us. He's doing cool special effects against us. Also, interesting fact, each room has a captcha and that was part of the text out for this game's window. This tech, this caption for this uh, room is, you're probably thinking, what the fuck by now. It is accurately named, in my opinion. Hmm, interesting. Where could we possibly be? Yeah, maybe we should look around. Yeah, that's a good indication you're on the fourth wall. Good explanation, I love that one. A random ability from being sucked into Super Mario World. Let's see here. Hmm. Well, too late for that, Mr. Artist. 
Goombas. We can't jump on enemies here, unfortunately. It would be cool if we could. Another skill point. Once I get a few more of them, I'll spend them. It doesn't take much to raise up the basic stuff, but we don't need it right now, actually. In fact, it makes it a little bit more challenging. I think I'm supposed to be using a different element against those, but... Yeah. Mental e insurrection has quite a few uses. Like, I would not be able to do that jump without it. Ah, bullet bill launcher, a classic foe. Very resilient to fire. Ah, that's the element of choice against these guys. And them. Me, me and Walter wonder I didn't get hit due to his nonsense. Interesting fact. I'm sure such mechanics will never be used, however, unfortunately. I do not believe there's much else in the way items we can acquire here other than this chest at this time. We will acquire the required abilities later on. Ooh, so they're weak to earth, and this guy is. Kinda sorta. Ooh, world map. Excellent. And now we'll be told how it works. It'll show, we can see what, if the icon is there, that means we have all items of that specific type. The Varia suit icon is a special power, spirit and elemental energy one. And the screw attack one is abilities. So we have all the various suit icons and all the screw. Yeah, whatever. Let's go to town. Sure is not matching tile set. Let's not touch their heads. All right. Yeah, I'd say we're from a really distant land. But for now, let's, this is a save room. We can save, and I think that'd be it for this video. We'll continue on next time. See y'all later.